Hey y'all. Sorry. It was a couple of minutes late. I was running downstairs, <laughs> but we're here now. Um, y'all, this is since I even talked to you guys last time, just everything just continues to blow up. Every single thing around us continues to just light on fire and be terrible. Hey Thor. Hey Chico, Bo, Pika. Janice, Britt, oh, Bo. Okay, um, y'all, this is gonna be frustrating to say the least. Hey, Shop. Hey, Miss Leah. Hey, Revival. This is frustrating. This is like there's just no way around how frustrating this is. For those of you that don't know what's going on right at the current moment, there is some tragic evangelist out there with signs saying that Chris Proudfoot needs to repent. They are making a huge scene. JLR is out there recording everything. I, I feel like we're just in this never ending cycle and it keeps getting worse. Between JLR, Justin and T-Rev in the last 45 minutes, I wanna pull my hair out. Truthfully, I, I just, I'm so over the shit. We're going to, Brittany J was the one that everybody kind of wanted to talk about. So that's where we're going to hop to first. Um, I'm not even going to play the intro. I just want to hop into it and get as much done as possible because there's just so much to talk about. So this is her stream from last night, y'all. It's six hours. There ain't no way in hell I will ever go through six hours of this one. Not happening. So I'm going to start at the beginning. You guys can kind of hear her intro. And then I got one specific spot too where I want to show she does, like I said, she does tell people not to call the TBI, but it was her chat that mentioned it and brought it up anyways. And it's people like JLR that she's promoting, Justin and all those guys that continue to bring up that these phone calls are needed and we got to stay on their backs and stuff. So um, anyways, let's get going. This is all under fair use. This is based on my opinion, my opinion of what she's putting out here. This is all under fair use per usual. Somebody thinks they sound bad, they don't. So I'm pretty sure you did a great job. Hey, and hey, Lisa, good to see you. Hey, Lachey V. All right, let me let me give a shout out to our beautiful Lake Superior girl. Happy birthday. Okay. To oh, fuck. Yeah, so I've heard of that. She has a lot of haters in the comments. Okay. Hold you see Jules, y'all ready to get started? Yeah. All right. 30 minutes. Tell me. To anybody, any of you, did y'all see anything good today besides what I've already got? Oh, this is good. This mm, I don't think it's over yet, but Seth is do currently doing another interview on saying stuff. Drop it in the back chat. Okay. Tell me what's I want to know. That's where the hell everybody's at. I knew yep. it. I was like, why is why is why there's uh why is it so slow over here? Like most of our people aren't here tonight. But there it is. That's why. Okay. That makes sense. Now I feel a little better. Why is it so slow over here, Brittany? Really? You're exploiting a child's case. You're exploiting a missing child. And you're worried about why it's so slow over there. If you were in this for the child, let me be truthful. You wouldn't give a shit about the views and the clicks. If you were doing this because you have integrity or morals or you actually stand for the victims, you wouldn't give a shit about the numbers or competition. Okay, I got it, Sarah. Quinny just messaged me. I got it. Got it. Okay. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so I've heard of that. Has, she has Notice what's on screen right now, too. She's got a post up from 2015 of Christopher Proudfoot's. It says, oh, I pissed you off. It's a meme. Suck it up, buttercup. I'm an asshole. It's what I do. That's what she's got pulled up on her screen. A lot of haters in the comments now, too. It's sad. Really? Why? Mm -hmm. um, because of him telling personal business about his son and stuff. and You know, trolls and stuff. Hey, y'all. Thanks for joining me. All right. So let me go ahead and tell you guys what my uh, my <laughs> intel is telling me oh. really quickly. Intel, huh? So we will watch it as soon as we can in just a little bit. But what, what is basically being said is that ever since what's happened to Sebastian, remember, guys, what Chris said? I mean, what Seth said happened to Sebastian. I don't want to really say it, but y'all know I'm talking about the very bad mm -hmm. thing that happened to Sebastian. So according to what is Seth is allegedly saying right now, 
Chris Proudfoot and his family have blamed Sebastian and called him little P words ever since then. And there's, you know, certain things, reasons why, uh, why he doesn't want him around space. Yep. Uh, and that whatever stuff that it, it was, it was kind of stupid what Seth said, but yeah, he's just, he's also just saying a lot of personal details outside of that even. I want to pull up for the sake of everything. We're going to pull up, uh, uh, I can't even think. Allegedly. This is from Seth's mouth. Seth is the one that's giving these statements about his son. Not Chris. I just have to be factual on that. It's not Chris. It's not Chris giving these details out. It's Seth. Sorry, I just totally hit the button. Um, yeah, uh, allegedly. I mean, what Seth said happened to Sebastian. I don't want to really say it, but y'all know I'm talking about the very bad mm -hmm. thing that happened to Sebastian. So according to what is Seth is allegedly saying right now, Chris Proudfoot and his family have blamed Sebastian and called him little P words. We have no proof of that ever since then. And there's, you know, certain things, reasons why uh, why he doesn't want him around the face. Yep. Uh, Maybe he could be protecting both kids. Anybody ever think of that? That until the situation and behaviors are under control, whatever those might be, maybe that's to protect both of them and not put them in an awkward situation that anything like this could be used because it seems like this is just fine for some of those parents to use as fodder on the internet. Uh, whatever stuff that it, it was, it was kind of stupid what Seth said, but yeah, he's just, he's also just saying a lot of personal details outside of that even. I want to pull up for the sake of everything. We're going to pull up, uh, uh, I can't even think. Uh, a, T a Trevor, also Trev time, he pulled, he joined Court TV tonight for an interview. But uh, I guess somebody showing from March the 28th, 2015, Chris had posted, this could be so many people. Oh, I pissed you off. Suck it up, Buttercup. I'm an asshole. That's what I do. So I guess that's like the majority of his post. So yeah, Trev, just so everybody knows, at 8 p.m. Eastern, he was uh, discussing Sebastian on Court TV. I don't know if it's up yet or not. Uh, let's see. He did a great job. I'm proud so, of him. Let me, I want to pull up Justin because I'd rather show what Chris's replies are from Justin because Justin, I think unless, unless it's in this thing, I can get all of his replies, but someone had text Chris Proudfoot. Okay. And that's when they had got the, uh, that's when Proudfoot actually said that um, Chris was lying. I mean, I'm sorry that Nancy was lying. So let's go to that first and then we'll. Uh, yeah. Um, now he's saying that the reason she's lying because she didn't tell the full story because what he told her is, TBI wants me to take one now. So I'm going to take theirs first. And then when I'm done with theirs, then I will take the one you were, you have set up for me. That's BS. Hey, Just, that What's BS about that, Sarah? What's BS about that? I wouldn't take a freaking polygraph from Nancy Grace either. Hell no, because he doesn't owe you or anybody else anything. Law enforcement should be the only one administering polygraphs because no matter what the outcome is going to be, they're going to twist it to make it fit a narrative that they're pushing. Nancy Grace included. There ain't no way I would take a polygraph for any of those people because in the court of public opinion, that's not the same as the legal system. That's true. I, I was just going to say, my thought is if that's true, TBI has probably been notified he denied it, the test um, amongst other things and maybe did line one up or he's just saying that. <clears throat> But Nancy will find out if it's true or not. Yep. All right. Give me just a second. I just, I, I, uh, I still want to show it for the sake of, uh, so yeah. everybody can see what he said. Um, hold on, guys. So shout out to Justin at Justin for All. Um, sub up to Justin for All, but also sub up to Clutch, Clutch Your Pearls because that's where Justin's like getting his main revenue source from right now. So getting his main revenue source. Tell us what it's all about, Britt. Tell us. Go ahead and say it with your whole chest because you seem to understand this pretty well. That's why you were worried about your numbers being low, huh? Great if you're sub to Justin for all, but you really need to go sub up as of right now to Clutch Your Pearls. Uh, if somebody can grab the link to Clutch Your Pearls and drop it in my chat, y'all go over and uh, support Justin over there on that channel because I think he's currently lost monetization on his main channel. So in the meantime, in between time, he's going to use Clutch Your Pearls uh, for the monetization source. So Go sub up and show the support on Clutch Your Pearls. There you go. Clutch the Pearl, Clutch Them Pearls, I think is the name of it. Thank you, Carolina Moon. I just want to make sure that he gets, you know, as much credit. Uh, Justin is a very good friend. Uh, well, I, we're not like close behind the scenes or anything, but I, I like Justin. I guess I shouldn't say friend. He's nice to me and stuff, but um, I, I adore him. I think he's a sweetheart. He is an exploiter and an opportunist, and he is a raging piece of shit. That's just the way it goes. He exploits the hell out of these cases. He docks his victims down to their social security number. He has some sort of fetish, in my opinion, for these really tragic cases. Again, not calling him a P, but 
he definitely gets giddy about this kind of stuff. He exploits to the highest degree. So of course, why wouldn't she be promoting him and claiming that that's her friend? Wonderful friends to have. I think we have a competition to see the next Molly, like Justin's next Molly. And in the running, we have Brittany J, we have Slimy's World, and a few others. They're sure stacking up thick over there. All right, here we go. Um, So here was a text conversation with Chris Proudfoot. And somebody says, uh, I guess the person says, if you didn't, then please do an interview separately. You two are always in interviews together. I guess they're telling the person that Chris and Katie should do an interview separately. Uh, why don't you just do one separately to clear the air? We want Sebastian found. Please. He deserves this. Please. Um, and the person says, you told Nancy that you would you would take one if she scheduled one. Dude, come on. Let's clear the air. It will shut up everyone. No, no, it won't. No, it would not. And no matter if it was he passed with flying colors, it would never shut up anybody. It would be rigged. He was trained to pass a polygraph in the Navy. All of the excuses will come. It will not solve a damn thing. And whoever is messaging him, he should probably block them. So then, hold on a second. Says, if you didn't, then please do an interview separate. My detector tests are very. So then he says, you are, Chris Proudfoot says, you are correct. I did. And I also informed. Nicole, I didn't, but I'm going to look right now. Law enforcement that I was doing that. Law enforcement then told me that they were going to administer the polygraph themselves. When I was told this, I informed Nancy's team. And hold on a second, guys. Let me get. Oh, this is such baloney. He's on my list too, Nicole. AB is on my list of exploiting and disgusting content. I don't know. Another one in Canada that feels that they can just say whatever they say, it seems like. Okay. He says, um, you are correct. I did. And I also informed law enforcement that I was doing the law. Uh, I was doing that. Law enforcement then told me that they were going to administer the polygraph themselves. When I was told this, I informed Nancy's team and told them that I would let them know after that, after that it was done. I haven't told her I wouldn't do it. I told after law enforcement conducts theirs. But see, she hasn't told you all that truth, uh, told you all the truth either. Man, he's got a lot of gall and a lot of nerve because uh, he's got a lot of gall and a lot of nerve. Bitch, sit the fuck down. You are filled with audacity over here. And I'm going to point some of that out. But, um, what he's filled with a lot of gold the fact that he is saying no i'm not taking one i am going to take one for law enforcement and nancy isn't telling what's wrong with that what's what's wrong with that i don't see that as goal i see that as not the answer you wanted put a one in chat if you believe I mean, law enforcement told him no they were going to conduct their own he best be able to back that one up and she can get that vetted quick i think that's why she hasn't caught back yet i think she's trying to see if that if he's telling the truth about that Right. Fuck out of here. If I, if Nancy Grace ever becomes my hero, please have me admitted somewhere. Stat. Yeah. Seriously. And that'd be interesting if law enforcement all of a sudden wants to give him one when they didn't have to before because they knew where he was. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm like, huh. That's why I don't believe it. But then again, it could be the part of me does want to believe it because this. I swear this investigation is about to take a turn. It's about to be a different type of investigation. Right. Mm -hmm. These idiots. Well, I'm going to tell you, though, it's, it's, you can't sit there and tell a thousand different lies. Oh, give me a second. Sorry, guys. Ain't that the truth? You can't sit there and tell many different stories or change the story details and expect oh. people to believe you're a truth teller, you know? Yeah, Sarah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about truth tellers, Sarah. What about Seth? What about other inconsistencies in his stories? Oh, you don't want to point that out because you have a target on Chris's back, right? You don't want to look at all the inconsistencies in the different stories Seth has told night after night after night after night, do you? Yeah. Uh -uh. I don't know. Are you going to get paid? Are you going to get paid? Christian, go in there. I'm getting paid. Come on now. Don't. All right. Let's see. I'm telling you that they have no. Me. All right. Sorry. I wish people, they wait till I'm in the middle of something to want to. Uh, oh, yeah. Because they know that you'll be like, here, okay, fine, go. <laughs> yeah. Not tonight. I can't. So, know how to play you. Yeah. So, that's pretty, I guess that's pretty much all that the person had shared. So, he's basically saying Nancy's lying. I, I'm going to tell you right now. If law, remember, he said all of a sudden we're supposed <laughs> to think that law enforcement just immediately, you know, changed their mind, right? What happened to, we don't, uh, he begged, remember, he told us that he begged law enforcement to give him. Um, a, a lot polygraph. of I mean, a polygraph. God, I can't even think right. Mm -hmm. I hate when I get distracted because it takes me like I know what you were thinking. Right. 
Lot, he said that he begged them and they refused to give him a polygraph test because they said that he was he was away at work and it's not necessary. So are we supposed to believe that? Hey, hey, fatal paper cut. Hey, Mary Moore. So we're supposed to believe that just all of a sudden uh, law enforcement changed their mind and was like, nope, don't you dare go on Nancy Grace and talk. And we're going to administer our own polygraph test. Do you not think law enforcement's watching this, Chris? Well, like, what if, are you going to tell them? Right. Because if it's true, it could be because they're not going to want her to polygraph them and find out something that they should have found out because they should have polygraphed him you see what i'm saying right so yeah. that could oh my god the fucking twist these idiots don't have fucking five brain cells between the four of them jesus criminies they're sitting here and like taking the shit that's been said on social media as fact and just turning and twisting there's been inconsistencies across the board all of the way all the way across the board whether where that comes from who knows but these guys think it's just these huge things if that could be i'm i'm going to i'm going to see because you know it's going to be addressed yes. and nancy will get to the bottom of it so whether he's lying or telling the truth we'll find out I cannot believe it. Yes, Morgan. And hey, Morgan, good to see you, Morgan LeFay. And need some Z's, good to see you, Pink Starburst, Mimo. There's everybody coming in. Oh, God, I can't stand her. Okay, we're going to fast forward to the three-hour mark. Just buckle up, y'all. Because remember in the beginning of this, she didn't even know about this interview. So she didn't watch this interview before. There is some horrible things released in this. Please understand that it is horrifying information. We're not going to listen to a lot of it, but there is so much that is said here. And she just did the very thing that I can't stand. She didn't even watch any of this previously. She had no knowledge what was being released in this. And she just rebroadcasted it without even having factual information or anything. But you'll see how she still tries to run a narrative. Actually, let me back it up a little bit. We'll start right at the beginning of this because you can hear she's going from Slimy's world to this. That was more important to, to him than spreading awareness for Sebastian. But then again, he'll still sit and talk to Smiley. Do you see how he's kind of like back and forth and just spewing mm -hmm. BS? No. I was just fuming over here. I can't stand the man. I, I, I can't. I can't stand his arrogance. No. And A man like that. Anyone know it's my hand. I, if I was That's married right. to someone like that, oh. Oh god! I would lose. Argument? I would lose my mind. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. there's no way. I would have left no the first day. Two words came out of his mouth. <laughs> certainly, certainly wouldn't be able to have a three-hour conversation with with him. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Uh, Can you imagine? No, no. I'd be happy with the minute. That sounds terrible. I'd be happy no. the minute he left back to work. <laughs> what would y'all, Matt, Matt? What would you figure an argument between him and his sister's like? The one that we heard. At the arcade. Yep. Good God. Yeah. Can you imagine being married to one of these dumb bitches? Goodness gracious. Okay, I can't take that because I'm going to say a whole lot. I probably shouldn't say that's probably not good for you two, but Jesus Christ, the brain cells of all of them combined is astonishing. And the fact that they they wouldn't be married to a man like Chris Proudfoot. Meanwhile, we have no indication that Chris did anything here. None because he hasn't responded how social media has deemed that he should be responding or what he should be doing or how they should be reacting, then he's guilty of something. Lord forbid. Two imbeciles want to sit there and call him and threaten him and put more pressure on him. Shame on you. Jen, eight, mm -hmm. thank you for the 499 super sticker. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. And I want to give a shout out to Allison Faye too. Where's it at? Let me go up and find it. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to miss your memory. She does more talking about her super chats and memberships and all of that than anything else. She can't be bothered to actually investigate like what is going on, where this comes from, the statements that are inconsistent, none of it. She's just concerned about the super chats and super stickers. Worship Allison. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm so glad you are here with us. Give me just a minute. We'll get it. If I can. Welcome in. You're damn fucking right. It is summer yet. It is. You are damn right. And you have nothing better to do than sit here and talk crap about people. You're a great person. It is summer yet. Guess what? I don't give a fuck what you think about me talking shit about people exploiting a child. I, I don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck today. Don't give a fuck tomorrow. Probably won't ever give a fuck. And if it makes me a bad person for pointing out the facts of these people exploiting this case and being horrible, wretched human beings and giving cr criticizing Katie Proudfoot. Meanwhile, it's three o'clock in the morning. You'll hear that in a minute. It's three o'clock in the morning and her kids are, oh, you don't, you probably don't want me to go there though, do you? 
probably not. You probably should exit the chat because I'm probably not the one that is going to be all kind and warm and fuzzy to your feelings because I don't give a fuck. Have a good day. I can find it. Where did her membership go? My goodness. Al I can thank you, Gavel, for becoming a member. Thank you. Welcome to the fam. I can find it. But Allison, thank you so much for joining the green team. Welcome aboard, my love. You are amazing. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate it. All right. Chico, Pika, if you want a blue wrench too, you can have one too. Ch Chico, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it, by the way. I just, if you want it, feel free. Block at your own discretion. Whatever you feel is inappropriate, if it's out of control, if it's nasty towards the victims, that's basically, otherwise you can let it fly for the most part. Um, but if you want it, keep it. I'd love to have you. Pika, same thing. You girls can have them. Um, but open door, whatever you feel is necessary. Hi, babe. Let's hear what they had to say to him. I'm sitting here trying to put pieces back together. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You, my, my whole issue about that is if you cared that much for my son as you do that you, your daughter that you don't want my son around because there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Why weren't you thinking about that when he's under your roof? No doubt. That's one thing I'm very curious about as well. And we're going to get to that in just a minute. Oh, but what was the reason? What was the what was the origin of this actual fight or argument or discussion on this phone that would spawn him saying that in the first place? What started this? Asking during podcasts why he didn't want my son around his daughter. So this happened because, okay. People so, were asking questions. People were asking questions like, like the smart intelligent Chris, people that they are. Go ahead. Why don't you want Sebastian around your daughter? You know, people were asking, Chris, why don't you want Sebastian around your daughter? I see people in chat that ask, were asking me all the time. Why does Trigger warning, y'all. Trigger warning again. He discloses way too much. Doesn't Chris want Sebastian around his daughter? There's your answer. Mm -hmm. you, you know. Thanks, Chico. Interesting. So you're telling me that he looks at Sebastian like some sort of predator. Yeah. Oh, okay. First, first thing, Brittany is silent. She remains silent for a lot of this and just lets this go. This right here is so problematic and so harmful. I can't even tell you because he is outwardly labeling his son something that nobody, unless they are that, should be labeled. This is problematic, extremely. And she has no qualms about playing this without saying like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the victim here we're talking about. This is unnecessary. Wow. But why? Because of what happened to him in California? under his supervision or under him and Katie Proudfoot's supervision? Okay, now, one detail I wanna point out because it's be gonna become confusing here shortly. Sorry, Kyle's in the garage working on something. Um, but pay attention that Seth admits to knowing what happened in California. In previous interviews, he kind of switches it up some. But pay attention to this new theory that they're gonna put in here about the time frame of all of these relationships kicking off. That and the fact that he hasn't got the correct help. Uh, in California, he was seeing a doctor by the name of Dr. Franny uh, at Balboa. And That's a breach of private information right there in itself, giving out doctors' names of therapists that he potentially was under the care of. That is a huge no-no. And she didn't appreciate the fact that I stood up and use a stern voice with her and told her she wasn't doing anything for my son by letting him play with toys and choose what movie or you know he gets Brittany's yelling at her kids at three o'clock in the morning is it summer yet i think you should probably go get your uh, buddy over there back in check and stop worrying about me because uh if britney's child ever went missing guess what's going to be used against her Shit like this well you were too concerned about being live at 3 a.m and your children running around so maybe before you come check me Maybe go check your buddies. So watch when he gets out of the thing. That's that's not helping him. That's not the proper therapy. I'm already researching this. You're, she wasn't. She wasn't. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Actually, that's incorrect, Kat. Um, 13 year olds have to sign waivers that their personal private information can be discussed. It's confidential. Confidentiality. There's clauses. And uh, even though he's a minor, he still has rights. I encourage you to educate yourself. For once, because it seems like a lot of you don't think that children have rights just because he gave the fucking sperm that produced Sebastian does not give him the right to come on the Internet 
and trash his kid and exploit tragedies that have happened to him. Nope, not today, not tomorrow. Exploiting a child's sexual assault for fodder on the internet? Oh, father of the year, let me tell you. Yo, that's enough. All right, look, even Dr. Pat, I mean, I said doctor, <laughs> even Pascal's getting aggravated about this, uh, or it seems like he's frustrated with the whole situation, right? Like, why is this, why is this happening? Um, you know, why are they doing this? Why are they labeling this child, you know, a, a predator? Uh, is this real mm -hmm. right now? Yeah, it's real. And you have no concern about what you're playing publicly. And I hate even playing this, but this needs to be called out. This is fucking gross. Right. And because he didn't get the proper help, like you're going to treat fair. him like a a monster and he's a victim the whole some oh my god what are, what are we dealing with here like i don't even this case has gone it's gone to a whole new level that just makes my stomach hurt and you have done everything to help push it to that level Brittany j you are 100 percent in the same arena with the rest of them that have been exploiting his deepest darkest trauma trauma that's what it is. It's trauma. It's none of your business. It's nobody's business on the internet what he went through. He's missing. That's all we needed to know. That's it. He's a missing child. That's it. Yeah, but I don't know if anybody in the chat is in the medical field in psychology. Oh, Jesus fucking. When you work with a child like that, you have to start baby steps with them. So I'm sure Seth was very upset with this, and I'm not saying anything against Seth. But the doctor had to do baby stuffs with him. I actually agree with Nana's dragonfly. Holy shit. And when he said he just let him play with toys. They have to do this. They have to. It's called art therapy and play therapy. It's a technique to get kids to open up. It is absolutely important for trauma victims to develop a rapport with a therapist. Because in order for talk therapy, any type of trauma therapy to be a good progress, they have to start out slow. They have to build trust and they have to do it in a way that makes the kid feel comfortable and seen and heard. You start off with techniques to get them to talk about things while they're doing other things so it doesn't feel as significant. It's fucking common. Start at the very low level and work up to letting him talk about it. Yep, that is true. So does anybody know where I'm coming from? <laughs> yes. I'm trying to say for once, I agree with you. You know, I know Seth really cares about his son. How do you know that? How, how do you know that? We don't know that any of them do. Again, if you want to call it out, call it out across the board. If you want to victimize or victimize, villainize Chris and Katie, then villainize Seth the same way. Because we don't know. So make it even across the board instead of giving him the father of the year award and sitting here and villainizing the other two we don't fucking know and in my opinion sebastian is what matters and i feel so bad for what he is going through and has been through but you've got to know how you got to start with it to get to where you're going and i i worked with mental health i'm not a mental health provider i'm not a, a doctor i was an administrator but you got it you got to start baby steps with him with children like that and that's true we'll listen to the rest of it and see where he's going with it but what in the world are people talking about protest here we go now remember she's been promoting jailer she's been report or promoting the worst of the worst because they're all in this little clique of exploitation of this case so she's promoted these people and now listen to what she does have y'all heard anything about protest going down anywhere about this well protest what are you talking about i, 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 I wish you know what i can't what's it what's Sorry, guys, that's Kyle. Well, I do know that. With the, with the clickbait, please. I do Cut. know that Justin on TikTok. Can we stop with the clickbait, please? Meanwhile, the title of her video, Seth Rogers' mom claims Chris Proudfoot is ripping down flyers. Chris Proudfoot claims Nancy Grace lied and more. Talk about fucking clickbait. Meanwhile, that wasn't even really discussed much in this live stream. There's no proof that Chris Proudfoot is ripping down any flyers. There is proof that chris is saying nancy didn't tell the whole entire story you're claiming you just showed it right but you want to talk about clickbait huh Britt? seems to be kind of a thing up your alley talk didn't care if law enforcement got upset he said they're going to get irritated about it but he did encourage people to call in and keep the fire under 
Kent, tell Kyle, keep it down down there. There. And not let this go under the rug. Y'all gotta stop. And he, he ain't lying though. There's protests at the church. What church? Is this for real? A rally. What is it about? Like, what's the backing to it? Asking Chris to repent. Wow. JLR, hold on a minute. What? Wait a minute. Whoa. What, Christian? Hold on, y'all. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Well, listen. Even if this isn't, I want y'all got to start calling protest or y'all got to start calling creators out on using clickbait, especially when it's about. Some people are saying it's a vigil. <laughs> She's telling what? Well, also, it's a vigil. So maybe a vigil turned protest. I don't know. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm lost. I'm, I'm lost. What y'all are talking about? Okay, okay. They changed the visual because of the rain. I'm, I'm just, I'm catching up in chat over here. They changed the visual for, because of the rain. Then someone's saying there's a protest or a rally going. There is still a visual for Sebastian tonight. And then someone said it's a visual. And then someone said there's a visual and a protest. So my mind went to a visual turn protest. <laughs> That's not what happened. So there's two different things. So there's a vigil being hosted by the searchers, and people who support in the local community. And then there's a fucking nut job named TJ out there saying that Chris Proudfoot doing all of these protests in the name of the God, because Chris Proudfoot lied on social media and he's going to make him fucking repent. And don't even get me there. We're going to go there one of these days and you're going to hear a whole lot of fucking angry trauma coming out of my bones because the audacity of that little slimy bastard being out there with a the sign that says anybody needs to repent. And then he lies about being having a weapon pulled on him. Okay. Say it ain't so. Well, I'm trying to keep up here. <laughs> regardless of, of whether that was or not, please, please tell, like, y'all got, I, I, I'm seriously going to start unsubbing from people. Well, oh, oh, fuck. I'm sure that they're going to miss you. Oh, it, it, it makes me sick, the amount of clickbait that I'm seeing lately. Like, It makes her sick, the amount of clickbait. The irony. Thank you for becoming a new sub. Welcome in. You don't is, this case. Is, wait, wait a minute. No, I'm not talking about protests. I'm talking about other stuff. Like regardless of regardless right. if the protest is uh, happening or not, there's still clickbait. And it's it's so right. gross. And it's just something that I've been meaning to mention. I just saw something and I'm going to bring it up because. That's, huh? that's you've reported a lot of, or you, you've promoted a lot of these people that are using clickbait like T-Rev with his possible sightings. You know, that shit. JLR all of his clickbait you've been promoting these people slimy's world people you promote that's your inner circle spanky all of it say it ain't so we're talking about the protest so i'm my bad <laughs> no the protest has to do with it because I, I it's a part of but but i'm saying even if there is a protest or not like please for the love of god stop you don't have to make clickbait for these especially cases about little kids like, come on, bro. Like, you don't got to do that. I'm going to start. This, I'm going to disassociate from people that do it. And I'm going to unsub because. It oh, my God. Is she stomping her feet? She's going to disassociate with these people. Ah. I can just see her over there like, I'm going to act like I'm really upset about this. But these are my friends. I got to use them to grow my numbers. You're lying to subscribers. And it's a, and it's a disservice to Sebastian, too. So there's two separate things right now. A vigil with Seth and then the protest, which has nothing to do with Seth or the vigil. Someone's saying the protest is also about um, the way it's being investigated and wanting Chris, another person said telling Chris to come forward. So, yeah, I guess there's some stuff going on right now. No, Sarah, you're such a fucking rocket scientist. By the way, you guys, my new friend Sarah over there that sits on Britney's panel made a video about me the other day and taked me in it. I haven't even watched it because I don't give a fuck. She doesn't understand how I move. You can say whatever the hell you want. Just make sure it's factual. I'm sure your video by the title isn't factual because you tried to come in my chat and twist a bunch of things that you obviously know nothing about. Trying to say that I blame Dre for harming Marvon. That never happened. I've never been a fan of Dre. Totally fine. But maybe you should do your research before you get on panels, start spewing stuff like you're doing again, Sarah. Yeah, the clickbait is disgusting and it's unnecessary. Yeah, it, it makes me mad. I'm not even going to lie. It really makes me mad. Oh, um, it. you don't got to do it. I mean, this case has got enough traction. It, it, you should. This case has got enough traction. I didn't want a lot of your subscribers anyway. Like they, all these people calling folks out, call people out about clickbait. Stop watching every little thing I do. Tell people to stop doing clickbait. It makes me mad. You, how is she missing the point of what she does with her titles? It's clickbait, Brittany. It's clickbait. You do the same fucking thing. You're a grifter. Straight up. End of story. You are a grifter. I would not spread false false info. Oh, shit, I hate this computer. I would not spread false info to you. The caller called into T Revs to talk about it. What's that? The protest? I love the grammar, please. 
come at me. Let's go. Brittany, they are coming together, calling here in LE. Okay. Did you just hear that mention of calling in LE? I'm going to back that up just a second and put it to normal speed. This is where the calling starts. Now listen to what she says. Now, again, it is a creator's responsibility when you're putting information out there. If you're going to read comments like this, you need to instantly say, please do not call law enforcement. Please do not. We do not need to verify this. Please do not add to it. This is about a missing child. You have, you should have done that. I'm full. Yeah, I guess there is some stuff going on right now. Yeah, the clickbait is disgusting. And it's what? unnecessary. Yeah, it, it makes me mad. I'm not even going to lie. It really makes me mad. Yeah. Um, You don't got to do it. Um, this case has got enough traction. It, 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 you shouldn't want to lie to your subscribers anyway. Like the, all these people calling folks out, call people out about clickbait. Stop watching every little thing I do. Tell people to stop doing clickbait. It makes me mad. Oh, I would not spread false false info. Oh, shit, I hate this computer. I would not spread false info to you. The caller called in T Revs to talk about it. What's that? The protest? I love the grammar. Please come at me. Let's go. Brittany, they are coming together, calling here in LE. I don't know that that's a good idea. Instead of saying, no, that's not a good idea, she goes with, I don't know if that's a good idea. Just wait. There's enough chaos already. You're right. There is. Wouldn't you say? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm, I mean, kind of honestly, I'm very disappointed in this because this is about Sebastian and bringing him. Don't home. flood law enforcement with phone calls. That's not going to help us at all. Okay. So she says that. Don't flood law enforcement. I'll give her that. But just wait until we go further. You're taken away when you do that. Yeah. You they are. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. I'm sorry. Who's doing that? Who's who's telling people to call? Justin on TikTok, and he ain't oh, lying. Justin. I've seen I've seen other cases where people did that, and it actually works. And it actually works. So here comes Sarah. Brittany leads the charge. She should, in my opinion, she could have been a lot sterner. Let's not do that. That's not helping. You know, but she starts to walk down that path. But then here comes Slick Slay, Slick Sarah down there saying, I've seen cases that that's helped in. So guess what happens? Watch now. It, well, I you, don't know. But not at this point, not when they're showing that they are taking feedback, you know. Talk, my mom and talk about, okay, we get this. Yeah. We go back and forth so much, but just by five beefy, five, 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 five I don't know. Like, what the fuck are you saying, Sarah? Nobody can understand you. You need a better Wi Fi. I, and Renee, this is nothing let's to get Yeah. And, and let's walk away from this. Let's walk away from this. Instead of just flat out shutting it down, let's walk away from this. Okay, now we'll watch where we go. Yeah, yeah, because I don't, I, I do want to say that that's nothing against Justin. I actually think he's a, a sweet person. That's nothing against Justin. Instead of condemning the person who is in, interfering with an investigation and tying up Ellen Ellie's phone lines and the tip line, I like him, even though he's doing this. So, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence about that. And it's, I want to say this real quick before we get started. I mean, get back into it. I, that Terry Lynn girl seems very nice, but there's some people that were over in her chat. I, I didn't see it. My mods told me about it, but I guess they got her question in me. I don't know. Maybe I need to reach out to her privately because I know that people are like that. They'll have like she didn't even get she wouldn't even give me permission to share her interview because some people wow. when her most people were saying nice things, but I guess some of the haters went in there and was lied on me. I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't think anybody needs to lie on you, Brittany. Lately, huh? I can't hear you, girl. It's it's yeah. Like, she's very low. It, it, you're you've been going in and out for a little bit. I've been piecing together what you're saying. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. I, I it's it's like you're in a tunnel. 
I do think that Terry Lynn lady is nice, though. She seems really nice. I swear I've been seeing her in your chat a lot lately. Have you? I, I didn't know I, she's been here. I didn't see her. I wish she would. Like, if she'd come here, that I would, I'd would. i like to talk to her. Because uh, I'm not what people are lying about and saying. I wish. All right. Then she pins a comment. Again, this is one of Spanky's mods who gets around. Do not call and bombard law enforcement. Silly tips and crap. Everyone says law enforcement is incompetent, but idiots calling nonsense in. They have to check every tip, no matter how stupid it is. Britt's going to read this, but watch the follow-up. People would just let, get to know people by their own merits and don't listen to what other people say. There's so many people that's come here that's like, I'm so glad that I came here because I heard this, but you're not like that. Muscles and Mascara says, do not call and bombard, Ellie, silly tips and crap. Everyone says law enforcement is incompetent, but idiots calling nonsense in. They have to check every tip, no matter what and how stupid it is. She's, listen, I hope I can say this. I'm sure I can. Uh, Cause you said it publicly. She's, she's local. Okay guys. Uh, muscles and mascara is local. She, believe you me, she knows uh, how the people are there. In the Who cares? You should have used the opportunity to say, no, do not do that. Her fact, her comment is factual. Do not impede an investigation period. Point blank. You don't do it, but just wait the work. All right, here we go. She wasn't qualified for that type of therapy because that's a different type of therapy for traumatic sexual abuse. And you, that's a different type of class. All right. And you're sure of that? Are, are you sure of that? Uh, you know, that she didn't have the creden credentials to yeah. handle that type of therapy? Yes. In other words, in his opinion. All right. Okay. I know that we're doing a little bit backwards. Okay. But I do have a lot of questions that we got to go all the way back a little bit. Okay. So I understand that this happened in Cal. Trigger warning again. Horrible discussion about things that shouldn't be on the internet to begin with. California. Uh, and I oh, ho, ho, ho. hey, Brit, Brittany, watch this. Where's my EAS? Hold on. Oh, did she just go hide her video? No, she did not go hide her video. Did she? Did she really? No, couldn't be. That can't be. She couldn't have done that, could she have? Okay, let's look. Let's see here. Oh, did somebody get some triggered? Oh, no. We got the audio. Oh, shit. What's this, Brittany? What's the, what the fuck is this, Brittany? I had a feeling I knew you oh. would do a pussy ass. Oh, Brittany, is this your live? Don't worry, honey. I'm smarter than you. I download this shit before I review it. And what you got now? This is, again, all under fair use. This is all based on the shit you put out here. This is called commentary. This is under fair use. Guess what? This is allowed. You might have thin skin. That's a you problem, honey. That's not a me problem. And you might need some brains. So Sarah, you might want to go back and tell her, didn't work. Here we go. Right back to it. Welcome in, friends. We're going to go back to our spot here. We're going to go back into our spot because only once, not again. All right. Here we go. Buckle up. It's so Hi. gross. And it's just something that I've been meaning to mention. I just saw something and I'm going to. Who's, who's... All right. Let's go back to where we were. I, I can't yeah. hear anything, love. I, I don't uh, know why. I need the mute button. <laughs> the tips. They don't know how I work over here, obviously. Brittany, buckle up. Just go cold, and others give up on the community, and it's hurting. Hold on. I want to find that spot. Where did I go? Yeah. And, and let's walk away from this. Yeah. Yeah, because okay. I, I, I do want to say that. That's nothing against Justin. I actually think he's a, a sweet person. We'll start from here. Sorry about that. Sorry about that little interruption. Brittany, you just got more attention of mine than you even probably wanted. Anyways, carry on. So, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm on. Why are you afraid of me showing that your chat was calling the tip line, Britt? Why, why does that bother you? On the fence about that. And it's, I want to say this real quick before we get started. <laughs> I mean, get back into it. 
I, that Terry Lynn girl seems very nice, but there's some people that were over in her chat. Okay, we can go fast forward a little bit further through this. Sorry, I want to find. It's like the 307. They have to check every tip no matter what and how stupid it is. She's, listen, I hope I can say this. I'm sure I can because uh, you said it publicly. She's she's local, okay, guys? Uh, muscles and mascara is local. She, believe you me, she knows uh, how the people are there in the work. All right, here we go. Okay. She wasn't qualified for that type of therapy. Because that's a different type of therapy for traumatic sexual abuse. And you that's a different type of class. Y'all, for those of you that are new here, I Brittany is like a little blip on the radar of who I have gone toe to toe with. Molly Go Lightly had 90,000 subs when she docks me to her entire crowd and sent them after my husband's job and my kids and everything else. Brittany. Uh, Grifter, AKA 101, doesn't understand that that just gives me so much enjoyment what she just pulled because she looks like an idiot, not me. All right. And you're sure of that? Are, are you sure of that? Uh, you know, that she didn't have the creden credentials to handle that type of therapy? <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. I know that we're doing a little bit backwards. Okay. But I do have a lot of questions that we got to go all the way back a little bit, okay? So I understand that this happened in California. Uh, and I, we got to dive into it. I want to point to what Kelly's saying. Let me read the both the two comments at Kelly. Because you're so right, Kelly. Kelly says, The only thing I regret is on the download. I can't speed it up, so it's normal time. And she is really fucking annoying, but we'll get through it. Oh my God, when it's this close and you know people, it's aggravating because you can't get others to see through the quick bullshit. Um, and then she says, it's crap like this that makes cases go cold and others give up on the community and it's hurting or and hurting. Yeah, I agree. We have to do things. I, I just don't think I'm just going to be real with you. I'm a Christian. Okay. Oh, oh, hail, hail Mary. Here we go. She's a Christian, so she can exploit these cases to the fullest. Amen. Praise baby Jesus. She's a Christian. Hey, JLR, I adore you. I JLR, she adores you. I really do. I think you're doing good work. We're about to go to church with Brittany J. the Grifter. But shouting Chris to Chris Proudfoot to repent and confess is not going to get us anywhere right now. I don't I don't think that's gonna make Proudfoot repent and and confess. I don't I just really no just don't I don't think that's what's gonna work. You gotta give that to God. You gotta give it to God. Amen. Let it go and let God, Brittany. We're just gonna be more people on the way, and that's gonna oh, be yeah. more Yo, Sarah, that's the best I've ever heard you sound right there when we can't understand you. That's a great look for you. I love it for you. I, I can't yeah. hear anything, love. It's the perfect sound out of her. I, I don't know why it's going out like it is. I can hear you trying to talk, but it's like nothing. Sarah, you're not invited of you're not invited to the island. You got the floaties with the sand on the bottom of them. Sorry, not sorry. Um but having them protest right now uh, reported he was not saying that. Okay. He reported it. So I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you, Cindy, for clarifying. JLR is not the one that's doing it. To the people that are doing it, I don't think that's going to work. All you're going to do is make more chaos for the police to have to go and respond to. And it's, So I'm sorry. JLR is just a messenger. Oh, defending JLR, who's out there recording the people that say they need to repent and doxing people and lying on people. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. How many confusing mixed messages can you get? When you find out that Chris of TikTok is the one that's encouraging people to call in tips to law enforcement, then you were against that until you found out it was Chris that was doing it. Then you, oh, I like him, though. I like him. Now you're finding out that JLR is a part of some fuck shit, but you like him. No, bitch, you like the subs. 
You like the numbers. You like the revenue. You like to bounce off and try to use their names for attention. That's what you do. Okay. Can we just say it what it is, Brittany? Don't, don't be mad at the messenger. JLR is just the messenger. JLR is just the messenger. Sure. Okay. Thank yeah, you I didn't. I didn't think to, JR was doing this. That didn't sound right. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, if we go back to Savannah, what happened in Savannah? I will not watch this case. If you think this isn't worse than Savannah already, your head's up your ass. Oh, I know. I will no. watch it from from beyond, but I will not be involved in this because I cannot go back to what happened in Savannah. Uh, or past what happened in Savannah. I am a hundred percent against what happened in Savannah. Wait, you can't say that really? No, but you're simping for the very people who played a huge part like Spanky, Justin of justice for all justice for no one bad contour guy, whatever you want to call him. He and his cronies, Molly go lightly announced that a Marine veteran who attempted to take his life at that time, who was in a facility at that time, still alive. They announced that he was deceased. Meanwhile, he wasn't deceased. Meanwhile, they started a bunch of shit about his life. Not only did they cause chaos for Leilani's mom and the whole Quentin Simon missing, they caused chaos for Marvon's family too. That was the intent. That was why they all went down there. A hundred thousand percent. Mm -hmm. And yes, I hope people learn from that. And, and yeah. Yeah. I, I cannot go back to that. I mean, I realize oh. that these people were not right, but I, I just, I can't, I can't deal with that. No. Yeah. It's a preacher wanting to do it. That That's just not going to work right now. They're, they're just going to incentivize the police to have to come out there. I don't know, whatever. I hope people stop and just let us, just let it happen. We got to give them time. Give the investigators time to do something first. To a little bit more so we understand a little bit more of this information. Because you did drop this on Justin. Shout out to Justin on TikTok. And it was uh, shocking. Shocking isn't even quite the word. Okay. But you did say that in California, while they were, while Sebastian was under Katie Proudfoot's supervision, can I interrupt Fish. you for go ahead by all means go ahead all right um a lot of people are you know this is is the information that I'm giving is facts it's not me trying to throw punches or whatnot but this, this is the third time that something major has happened to my child underneath their watch and they need to own it. Hmm. They need to own, they need to own the fact it. that they have fucked up yet again. Yet again. And, and I don't. Look at the comment pinned on the screen. Just called the tip line twice and hung up on me. And when my husband called, they said they were not taking calls. Now tell me again. Wait, didn't she just try to play the game that it wasn't helping? Now she's pinning comments that they're calling the tip line and they're not answering. Just wait, it gets worse. This is interesting, motherly love. I just. This is interesting, she says, instead of do not do that. We don't need to impede an investigation. This is what she does. This is why we're doing this. Lucifina, sit the fuck down and listen. Lucifer, go over there and cast the demons out or some bullshit productive because you're wasting your time over here when they're doing stuff like this, when she's tiptoeing around and like, Going all the way. Yeah, no. I called the tip line twice and I hung up, they hung up on me. When my husband called, they said, we are not taking calls. Guys. Can you hear me? Unfortunately. Now I can. Okay, I switched my ear. Um, he said this is the third major incident that happened under their care. Did I miss Did something? he just say that? Did I miss that? Why are you ignoring that this is pinned on your screen? Why are you encouraging people to call in false tips? Rewind that just a tap. Okay, okay. let me. 
when you're done. I, I just wanted to. Yeah, let, let me played. address this real quick, and then we're going to look over that because I missed that too. People in chat are saying, yeah, Morgan said third time. All right, we'll rewind it, but let me address this real quick. Has anybody else got this? Has anybody else got this? Why would people be calling? You should have said, we don't need to know this. These are incredible tips. You don't have anything. You're on social media. Because that's interesting. They told her that we're not taking calls. Can you imagine what would happen now? What, what do you think happened from this point on? What do you think happened after she said this? And anybody else get this? Well, at the beginning, um, when people would call it in, it was going to the cold case line. TBI. So I'm... Just weird. See, this makes me wonder if they know something. You know what I mean? For them to turn people away, they already know everything they need to know, maybe? Not Really? Really? Instead of taking the opportunity to say, please do not call in. These lines are for victims. We need to keep them factual, only credible tips, only things that are needed to know. We don't need to know what's going on. This right here is when you shut that shit down. You have a responsibility to shut this fucking shit down, Brittany. I'm saying that's the case, but no, that's even, even when someone's like, say, been arrested and is up for trial, they'll still take tips if it's going to help. Or, I mean, and then there's the sweet Sarah, sweet, smart Sarah. They'll still take tips. They'll still do this, encouraging people again if it's about the case. So I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Really weird. Really weird. Really, really weird. Really, really weird. No, what's weird is that the fact that you don't shut it down in your chat because eventually you'll actually have to say because people start coming in and saying, oh, yeah, this is what I got when I called. So now this just encouraged a bunch of people to start blowing up that number. That's what this did. You just called five minutes ago. I'm side eye. Somebody what? else call and vet them. I mean, see what they say. Sarah says, somebody else call them and see what they say. So now they're flat out encouraging it. Yeah. I just. And Brittany agrees. Yeah. Curious to see if they say they're not taking tips. She's just curious to see if they're not taking tips. You know, she just asked her whole chat of five plus hundred people to start calling that tip line. Okay, Jillian, what channel? My friend goes to that church and said it's just a prayer vigil. So I'm getting mixed sick things. Okay, we'll look into that later. Let me go see what he said. He, all right, he said the third major incident. Let me go back. While Sebastian was under Katie Proudfoot's sexual abuse and you that's a different type of class all right and you're sure of that are, are you sure of that uh you know that she didn't have the creden credentials to yeah. handle that type of therapy yes all right okay i know that we're doing a little bit backwards okay but i do have a lot of questions that we got to go all the way back a little bit okay so i understand that this happened in california Trigger warning. Uh, and I, we got to dive into it a little bit more so we understand a little bit more of this information. Because you did drop this on Justin. Oh, if anybody has not seen this, please, please check out if you need to. This is horrifying. I'm going to try to skip through some of it. But all of this entire interview was unnecessary information. Painting Sebastian in a very negative light way overstepping on it. I don't care if it's the parents or not. Thank you guys all so much for being here. This is just absolutely disgusting. But now you can see she left that open-ended. She left that open-ended. So what do you think the chat's still doing? They're still calling the tip line to see what's going on. Shout out to Justin on TikTok. And it was uh, shocking. Okay. But you did say that in California, while they Ew. were, while Sebastian was under Katie Proudfoot's Aww. supervision. Good night, midnight. Can I interrupt this, you for Go ahead. By all means. Go ahead. All right. Um, a lot of people are, you know, this is, is the information that I'm giving is facts. 
it's not me trying to throw punches or whatnot. But this, this is the third time that something major has happened to my child underneath their watch. And they need to own it. Hmm. There's so much that could be questioned here and so much that could be said. Again, I'm trying to give the parents grace, but um, you had just as much responsibility in getting the child help, in my opinion, as they did. And I'm sure the guilt all of you are feeling is immense right now. But you just played into a hand of social media that you can't come back from. And it's all about Sebastian. And you released private information on Sebastian that the internet did not need to know. Nobody did. That wasn't any of our business. They need to own the fact that they have fucked up yet again. And I don't. Did I not go back far enough? Oh my God, that fucking chair. Why does she have to move all the time? Uh, CJ Holly said, well, it was actually the video where she bashed everyone on panel here. Who did? Somebody bashed, bashed everyone on panel here? I'm not sure who the hell they were talking about. Who did that? I'm very confused, CJ. He just said it. What did I miss? They said that they're not taking calls at this time. You, and we're back to this. So now here's confirmation that what I just told you is true. I'm not taking calls at this time. That's what they're finding out. So people in her chat are actively calling the TBI tip line to find out what's happening. You know who they're talking about, Brad. Uh, put in back chat. Liz H, I have not heard the hide or hair of any victims advocates working with any of these people. Okay. They said they, so they just said it again to somebody else. They're not taking calls at this time. All right. Nobody else call TBI guys. Please. Nobody else called CBI. There she finally says it. There she finally says it. She should have shut it down before it began. She has a duty to do the right thing. And she didn't do it. She tiptoed around it in the beginning. And I was th at the beginning, I was like, okay, thank God she actually shut this down. She was saying that this is harmful to investigations. I was actually clapping for her. And then she had to backtrack and do the whole thing. And she got the whole audience calling in. So they were getting flooded. And then she finally just comes out and says, okay, guys, don't call there anymore. What the fuck? Please. Wow, that's it. That's just interesting to say the very least, right? Not taking calls. Let me go back. I, maybe I. And again, not taking calls. I'm getting distracted. My ADHD. I keep missing it where they say that. What is the other major incident? Third time. So we got the incident. Uh, wait a minute. God, she's painful. Yeah, I just don't, I just don't, yeah, listen, let me address this real quick. Pink said, I understand CJ, Brittany would like us not to bash other creators. It's her wish and we just enforce it. Yeah, I, I, I politely and respectfully ask that nobody talk trash about other creators. Uh but you were just saying that people need to call out people for clickbait. Can you fucking decide what side of the face you're fucking talking out? Because all we're hearing is you talk out of your ass. Can you decide what lane you want to be in and stay in that lane? Because earlier you were saying people need to be called out for clickbait. Now, I, we don't bash anybody in the chat. So if you're going to call people out for clickbait like you do, how are you supposed to do it if you won't even say their fucking names? Can you make it make sense? You're a grown ass adult. Say it with your whole chest. Stop being a weak spined asshole in my chat and the reason that i asked mm. that is because you know if somebody comes in here and they say something about pascal in Listen a negative that. way pascal is going to be upset with me because it happened in my chat you see what i mean no they're not that is so immature it's not even funny she just wants all of these creators who have the big numbers to think that she sucks their ass because she wants their numbers that's it that's all it's a grift it's all the way around it 
It's play nice with everybody. Well, I talk shit about you behind the scenes and I really can't stand you, but I need your number. So this is what's going to happen. And your girl don't need, I just don't want enemies. I don't need any more. What is happening? I got enough people that don't like me. That's for damn sure. You know what I mean? For a good reason. So, wait a minute. Almost well, it's just not lot. respectful to talk about other channels on another channel. It's just, Fine. in my opinion. Oh, okay, guys. Listen, and listen, oh, and about that person, we don't even worry about it because she's a blip on the radar. I don't even know who she is. I don't know who she's calling a blip. It could be me. I could get two shits less. I, I don't So, care. don't... Listen, we like, got bigger things to talk about. Like exploiting a child's worst moment. We got bigger things to talk about. You know, those pe people like that, they have to be mad uh, at somebody at all times. If it's not me, it's going to be somebody else. She's one of these ones that deflects onto everybody else. It's always about you and your behavior. She does nothing wrong. She's perfect. Meanwhile, she sat here and called Katie out. This is three o'clock in the morning, friends. What do you hear in the background? Oh, yeah. Probably don't want to go into that, do you, Britt? I, I would say check yourself and check your surroundings before you get on here and start blaming a parent who obviously was struggling with a special needs child. That's pretty clear. Anybody can see that. And doesn't mean she's a bad parent, but struggling. Meanwhile, it looks like you're struggling, too. But you don't want to be condemned over those. I'm not the true problem. <laughs> you are <laughs> sexual abuse and you that's a different type of class all right uh in california he was seeing a doctor by the name of dr franny uh at balboa and she didn't appreciate the fact that i stood up and used a stern voice with her and told her she wasn't doing anything for my son by letting him play with toys and choose what movie or you know he gets to watch when he gets out of the thing that that's that's not helping him that's not the proper therapy i'm already researching this You're, she wasn't she wasn't that's the word i'm looking for chapped 100 percent. i agree with you she wasn't qualified for that type of therapy because that's a different type of therapy for traumatic sexual abuse and you that's a different type of class all right and you're sure of that are, are you sure of that uh, you know, that she didn't have the creden credentials to handle that type of therapy? Yes. All right. Okay. I know that we're doing a little bit backwards, okay? But I do have a lot of questions that we got to go all the way back a little bit, okay? So I understand that this happened in California. Uh, and I, we got to dive into it a little bit more so we understand a little bit more of this information. Okay, if you remember in the first interview, there's inconsistencies here. Anybody that doesn't see the inconsistencies in the stories and the interviews that even Seth has told, you are intentionally trying to be one-sided in this and you are absolutely biased. If you want to look at and point out inconsistencies and lies, there was a there was one right there. So I'm not going to point them out. I might, I might go through and show you bit by bit and break the two down and correct them, but I don't want to do that because I'm on the side that it's about Sebastian and criticizing the parents in any way, shape or form is not what I'm intending to do, even though this is so harmful to Sebastian, in my opinion. Again, my opinion, I don't care if he is the dad. I don't care anything. This was crossing the line and it's going to get worse. Because you did drop this on Justin. Shout out to Justin on TikTok. And it was uh, shocking. OK, but you did say that in California, while they were. While Sebastian was under Katie Proudfoot. Janice, I forgot about that. Yeah, they sure did. Yeah. At one time, I've heard he was really credible. This is just gross. Supervision. Can I interrupt this, you? For go ahead. By all means. Go ahead. All right. Um, a lot of people are, you know, this is, is the information that I'm giving is facts. It's not me trying to throw punches or whatnot, but 
whether it's a intentional or an unintentional punch throw, it is. And it the person that it hits is Sebastian. That's what I can't understand why you guys people, why people don't understand this. These punches that are being thrown, they're landing on Sebastian. They're landing on Sebastian's name. They're not landing on each other. Yes, it stirs up the internet, but truthfully at the core of this, the, continue, the punches continue to land on Sebastian, not on the parents. And that's not fair. That is not fair. This, this is the third time something major has happened to my child underneath their watch. I do, Cammy too. And they need to own it. Hmm. They need to own the fact that they have fucked up yet again. And I don't... I'm sitting here being Sebastian's voice. Because right now, he doesn't have one until we find it. What, Lucifina? Nonsense, even though you're exposing BJ. I'm not exposing BJ. BJ exposes it herself. Sorry, that's not my job. Um, I have never, wait, have you given credit to Pascal or are you evaluating his tactics? Just curious, please. Um, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm not exposing BJ. Like I said before, BJ's exposed herself. I'm just talking about her antics and the BS. I can't expose her as much as she's exposed herself or exposed herself. We're just reviewing her exposing herself. I guess you could call it that. As far as Pascal goes, um, at one point in time, I was in the arena of he would have been somebody I would have recommended because I did like some of his content. This is too far. He, the questions that he's about to ask are disgusting, disturbing, and it's so dramatic and all for a show when in reality, this is a child's deepest, darkest moments. He has, if he's going to... I guess, again, this is what people want, right? You want to show, you want to hear about the deepest, darkest secrets that these people have. I think it's gross. I think he crossed complete boundaries and I have zero nice to say about him. Yeah. We'll find out what happened. All right. I've told everybody you're innocent until proven guilty. Right. That's just the way the system works. And exactly, that should go across the board. So that should, innocent until proven guilty, should go for Katie and Chris Proudfoot too. If we're giving Seth that same amount of dignity, we should give that to Chris and Katie too. There's nothing I can do about that. That's the way the system works. And that's the way it should work. You're innocent until proven guilty. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that you are, I believe that you are telling the truth. I don't think you have... <sighs> Why would you sit here, go out of your way, uh, not spitting facts? Melissa, are you trying to say something to me? Because if you are, I might have missed it. Yeah, there was. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to watch the chat and trying to keep an eye on this, too. Thank God the way that, yeah, the system works that way, right? Rebel Soul? Absolutely. Yeah. Inspector Gadgets have condemned them to hell and back. Right? So it wouldn't make any sense for you to just go out of your way to just talk there is a piece in here. Lucifina, if you're still here, I encourage you to stay with me for the next like five, 10 minutes. If you have the time, please, I'll show you why I am disgusted by this interview. Wild, suddenly out of nowhere uh, and, and aimlessly in some sort of way. And I don't think what you're saying right now and what you've given to us is aimless or doesn't have any clout, doesn't isn't backed up with proof, which, of course, I am very curious about uh, some of these things as well. Truthfully, if you want to be truthful about that, Pascal, everything that's coming out of Seth's mouth is allegedly not backed up by facts either. But that's just the fact of it. But what I need to understand, though, is that. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. Melissa, she continues to. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing over there. This happened under her super supervision in California. Is that right or wrong? That's right. Was Chris involved in that at all? Because Pay attention to the answer to this. I'm going to point out some inconsistencies here. Because I think that's one thing that a lot of people are very curious about as well. Chris was living with her then. Okay. So who is... So Chris was living with her when this happened. Okay. They were in California. Okay. Is this kid. Who is this 13-year-old kid, if he was 13, 15, whatever age he was, who did this unthinkable thing to Sebastian? Who is the kid? Lucifina, right there is your answer of why I can't stand Pascal at this point in time. First and foremost, if he was a 13-year-old minor who committed this horrendous alleged assault, 
You are asking seven years later when the internet has already been on blaze. Pascal knows that. He has seen his comment section. He's not ignorant to what is going on. People have been trying to hunt this person down that potentially offended Sebastian. He was a minor at the time that this happened. This is so crossing every boundary, every boundary, because he was a minor at the time that information should be protected. And he wants to know. So what do you think this is encouraging? It's encouraging people to go continue to dig to try and find out information about this child, right? We don't know the specifics of it. This is just what we're taking Seth at his word for. This is encouraging terrible things. Okay. That this is a huge issue for me. And having a large platform like he does, Pascal's got like 120,000. You have, you owe it to your subs and the victims, specifically the victims to do better, to be better than this. This is re-victimization of a victim of time and time again. I don't know his last name. Sheriffs wouldn't give me his last name. Thank God they wouldn't. Thank God they wouldn't because we don't know the details of that. We have been led to speculate certain things. That's not our business. But why not? California C. Terry, 100%. Yes, child, children under the age of thir 13 and under are actually protected. So. Child victims, 13 and under, their privacy is protected. There's not, they wouldn't give me any information. They weren't allowed letting me do anything. He just said it. So he acknowledges that Sebastian's information was protected because allegedly he was seven or eight at the time that this happened. So. He's telling you that even the 13-year-old's information was protected, but he didn't give that respect to his own son and release that information. Um, the only thing they let me do was I asked him if I could contact the school psychologist, if he could sit there and tell the school psychologist the person's name so that the other children that was around him would not become victims as well. Mm. And I went as far as finding out hallucinogenic recipe thank you so much for the gifted memberships y'all welcome to the cabana thank you again so much that was really sweet oh aaron i agree that he has the right to know i agree that he has the right to know but he's stating that that was protected and they wouldn't tell him allegedly in the first interview now let's back it up you guys inconsistencies here he said that it was a neighbor that it was known who this child was now it goes to they wouldn't give him the information it was protected. They wouldn't file charges. Think about that. That's what I'm saying. I think he had the right to know. But in the first interview, he alludes to it being a neighbor. Now he's changed it up and said, you know, I agree with you, though, fully. And there is juvenile offenders like there there is. It's not like it's just locked up and people don't pay attention to that. There's laws to protect on all ends even if they're offenders. You know, the parents, from my understanding, the parents told Katie and Chris that their kid picked it up off of watching YouTube. Me personally, I've never seen like that stuff on YouTube. So I, neither have I. So Pascal, that's a blatant lie. You as well as I do know the dangers of stuff on YouTube. We all know that there is explicit content on YouTube. You are ignorant to even deny that you would know that what is he watching on on the tubes that would give him the the disturbing education like that that's what i'd like to know as well huh that's fucking ignorant to even claim that you can't find it so with, he his, this with his age i would have to say that somebody was abusing the child that's a that's a big jump a big big jump huh it had been probably going on for a while for him to think that it was normal, so he did it to my son. That's why I'm asking about my son having the correct therapy to get him back on track. I mean, he's autistic. He's not mentally as old as he is physically. I mean, he's smart, but, you know, delayed in learning. He's physically 15. Mentally, he's probably 10 or 11, and he's going through adolescence. His body's producing hormones that he has. But here's another inconsistency I'm just going to point out. I'm trying to point out the very minor ones so you guys can not, like, I don't want people to rip shred or set the part because the internet has pushed him to this point. 
And I'm still trying to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. But if we want to call it out across the board, one of the inconsistencies here is he states that, you know, his mind is that of a much younger child. But meanwhile, in other interviews, it has been stated that he was in a regular class, that he was extremely intelligent. But now they're, it's delayed. Yes, can both things be true? Yeah. But there's just no need for all of this. But this is continuing to the internet to push, 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 push. So inconsistencies are going to be seen when you're discussing different things that have happened. They're going to remind you of different things. Again, there, it is what it is. No idea what's about. And I don't think... I don't think things are lining up in his brain like they're supposed to because obviously he's got a six Q chromosomal deletion syndrome and I'd like to argue that that chromosomal deletion also uh, has a huge impact on your developmental uh, uh, stage as well. So yeah, he's probably it can, it can, it can have, impacts on that. It's not a guarantee. It also can have impact on facial dysmorphia. It can have impact on organs. We don't know. Thankfully, again, protected private information, medical information. We don't need to know all that information. Is it possible? Yes. Is it 100% guaranteed that that's the cause of it? No. Probably I less than that. little younger than 10, to be honest with you. I would not be surprised if in his mind, he's a bit younger than that developmentally. Um, and again, that's why it's confusing to people who are going to really listen to this interview because previous interviews, they've stated how intelligent he was. He could do this. He could do that. He was in a regular class, not special ed, you know, stuff of that nature. And then to experience that and then to be treated like a monster. And how do we know he was treated like a monster? We don't know that. All we've heard is a lot of finger pointing and things that throw back and forth. There's been mistakes on all ends. And we can't deny that. Talk to the way he was by freaking that piece of crap that his mama's married to. Like, I can't. I absolutely can't. Meanwhile, not even paying attention to this interview that Seth is giving and realizing there's so many inconsistencies here that they could point out just the same as, as they have glommed on to with Chris. He, But she doesn't even want to pay attention to any of that. Thank you all for joining me. I see a lot of new names today. Thank you guys for all being here. Um, welcome in. Sorry, I'm just an asshole with a lot of opinions and a big mouth. And this is just what we do. We talk about the people who are exploiting these horrific, horrific tragedies for monetary gain. This is exploitation at its finest. Oh, my God. It makes me so mad. This is breaking my heart. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking my heart, but I'm going to do another six hour live on it to again tonight over and over again. Oh, and I'm with Quinny. Yeah. If I was said that'd be cool. Yes, Kelly. Thank no. Like aside that, that chromosomal deletion, y'all. I highly. Okay, baby. Just getting can excited. You, can you hear me, Brent? It's like, it's, I can hear you, but it's like. Oh. A really, really bad static and like a, a like a humming. LK, it's good to see you. Static. Yeah. Was, yeah. Was, hey, Ebony. Hey, Ebony. Now I got a really, now bad, a really echo. bad echo. Now it's the echo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. Brittany's child, Vic. No, I know. No, I know. <laughs> I'm going to go, try to go, try to go out. Try to go out. In. Uh, I think it's the ear. That's their audio, not mine. But... Oh, okay. Bear with me, guys. RIP to all our headphone users. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got new ones. I know, right? Hey, hey Ebony. Yeah, the system's definitely broken, but... Uh, I, I, what a horrible situation. Did you got to turn that down, Neil? Or you get, hold on, guys. Oh, thank God. We might be safe for a moment. Nana. Am I, can you hear me, Nana? Unfortunately. Yeah, you still sound bad, oh, okay. though. 
Oh, terrible. It's better than it was. Oh. It's like a, a humming static. I don't know. <laughs> I'm about... I'm gonna um I'm gonna go ahead and keep playing this guys. Oh, oh <laughs> she claims that she's wearing headphones. That does come up here in a minute. She claims that she's wearing headphones and her kids cannot hear this. I don't I don't know. I'm gonna mute say her that child right there that just walked behind me is the 21 year old adult. So my girls are downstairs in a completely different room. I am in just so everybody is clear, I'm not being a hypocrite. There is nobody else in here, and my door is closed. So, just to be clear. Until she can figure, yeah, I don't know what's wrong. Her, her, her uh, it's usually not that bad. All right, let's keep right, going. Uh, let's keep going. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like Nana. I'm going from earbuds to wired buds. <laughs> You sound wired. wonderful now. I'm trying. Yeah. You sound, sound wonderful now. now. Don't that's move. I have, no, I have no earbuds in at all. So that's Oh, why. okay. Okay. I know. I did that the other night. And finally, I just bought some new earbuds. Right. You'll see a little bit more about that here in a minute. Sorry, Kiki's hitting my computer. <laughs> all right. Here we go, guys. It is generally going. Diagnosed with autism. Understandable. And I, I get it that he's the, the what he went through is a lot to process, no matter if he had autism or not. Being a kid, eight, seven or eight or eight years old, that's a lot to process as a kid. It is. Uh, I can't I, I can't even imagine any child going through any of that. But question though, did you know of this said kid? This thir we're going to use 13 years old. I know Katie Proudfoot said he wasn't 13 years old, and I get that semantics or technicalities, but I'm just going to call him the 13-year-old kid from this point on, okay? So did you know anything about this 13-year-old kid before you heard about this tragedy and this trauma that was inflicted upon Sebastian? I did not. You had no idea about this child. Okay. Okay. So then how did you find out? Because in the interview with Justin on TikTok, okay, you said it made it you made it sound like you expressed some concerns about Sebastian hanging out with this 13 year old kid while he was about seven or eight years old. And you were on another inconsistency, uncomfortable with it. And then, of course, this tragedy and this trauma was inflicted. So I'm, I, I want to get some clarity on that. Did you not know about did you? have a strange inkling about this 13 year old or did you find out after the fact from Katie Proudfoot that this trauma was inflicted upon Sebastian Katie Proudfoot who at that time was Katie Payne I found out from her wait just here kitty kitty here kitty kitty is that really a fucking name on YouTube? Anyways, you are all sick in titanium. You are doing streams about this case night after night playing Nina's interview. So you come here to feel relevant? You're gross. Do you feel better after saying that? Okay. You're welcome. I read it. She says she had contacted CPS on the other family. Therefore, I found out from her and CPS spoke to me. And that's when I started dealing with CPS and the sheriff's department. So he was actively involved with dealing with this situation. Again, inconsistencies are huge. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Me, me, me and Katie used to communicate a lot more than we do now. We're going to talk about that in a second. But real quick, as soon as you found out about this tragedy that happened to Sebastian at seven or eight years old in California, what did you do? I immediately contacted the sheriff's department. I wanted okay. to find out what was going to happen to the child. Okay. I wanted to if, you know what they were going to do to protect my son protect this child that more than likely has been a victim already and what they were going to do to prevent it. And I don't think the sheriff's department did anything. No. 
doesn't think the sheriff's department did anything. There's a lot, you guys, there's so many inconsistencies that could be pointed out. And again, I'm giving Seth the benefit of the doubt that he doesn't realize what he's saying here and or the way he's stating it. And that's the nature of the inconsistencies. But in the first interview there, he alluded to Katie did nothing to get him help. But then in this one, we hear him state that Katie called CPS instantly and reported this. She self-reported. But then she contacted him and he was involved. There's a lot that could be said here. Other time that the law has failed our children. Mm -mm -mm. The law failed our children. Um, this is questionable too. Because I know that you said on the interview as well that you couldn't do anything because of the state, because the state that you're in, because of, of the state of California, that you couldn't press charges on this 13 year old kid. Can you explain to me why you couldn't press charges on this kid? He just committed a crime allegedly. So here, kitty, kitty, don't come in my chat telling anybody to sit the fuck down or you can get the fuck out. Okay. Why couldn't you press charges on this 13 year old because kid? Because of his age. Mm. Gen 8. Children can be offenders. Gen 8 says, I don't believe him. Noah, please don't anybody take offense to this. Me. Listen to this part. This I found funny. And it, those of you that know me well know how giddy I got about this. He's saying this, but. Not the sick parts, but what Brittany's going to disclose about where she came from. It's California. I believe it because it's California. There is a whole, California has one of the most lax justice systems. You can get away with so much over there. Um, and the fact that he's a, a young kid, that it was a young kid that, that did this. The even, No matter what state you're in, when you got a kid that age, if he's 13, 12, 13 years old, the cops are law enforcement probably not going to be as, you know, I don't know. Thank you. Lisa, Lisa gets what I'm saying. I'm, there's nothing against people that live in Cali. So please don't take me wrong. I know that somebody's going to get offended by what I just said, but. No, I actually agree with you. California does have some really interesting laws and rules. That's why policy and procedure. That's why voting is so important and understanding what we are voting for and all these little things that they add to everything on all sides of the aisle. Um, that's super important in my opinion, but this is, this is very intriguing to me. Uh, no, nobody can get offended by that because the laws are different in every state yeah. and every state has. See, look, Callie made it. Yeah. Lisa said the occasional good and you know, it's about to come. Right? It is true. I live here. Then we got perspective Cali native. Uh, it's horrible here. Right. Uh, so for those of you that are new here, we've been advocating to get Governor Gavin Newsom's attention. That was something that we worked on over here and we actually got it to review um, in a, somebody that the California Board of Parole a habitual offender they were going to release out of prison. He had 160 years to serve three horrific, violent rapes, and they were going to release him and still potentially could, but that's coming up. If you want to learn more about that, there's videos on my page. That's one of my incredible, really good friends and mods who is has been dealing with that for a long time in her life. But youth offender laws in California are a little iffy, but there's still questionable things in this. Yeah, I mean, if it was, uh, maybe if it, I'm in California, 100%, there's people's agreeing with me, like 100% true, no offense taken. <laughs> Vertica said, I'm offended, just kidding, I don't live in Cali. Seriously, that uh, that's one of the things I, when I, I come from the political world. I come from the political world. Oh, Brittany, you just made my heart so happy because I can't wait to review over the coals about politics too. Buckle up, baby. You just became my new favorite, my new favorite friend. Thank you, Brian. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for that. That was really kind of you. Uh, did anybody know that? Did anybody else know that she came from the politics world? Anybody? Is this like a whole BHB wannabe thing, JLR? Is that why she's trying to connect there? Is she a front oh, row ho too? Anybody know that? Did you guys know that? I came to true crime from politics. And one of the things I learned being in the political world.
I just don't see her being able to even stick a toe in the political world. Honestly, world is how bad Cali's justice system is. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of believe him because of that. Yep. See, you know, look. I'm with you. I was into politics before I came here, too. Yeah. <laughs> And this goes to show once again that another person who has a, an agenda to push, propaganda to push, overlaps between true crime and political. That's the same thing we've seen JLR do. That's the same thing that happens a lot of times. It's these extremist belief systems, you know, all of this stuff. It's wild to me, but I didn't know that. I was like, whoa. We were, we were destined for each other, Nana. In revival, I about fell over when I heard that. I was like, wait, what? I can't even see her being... I can't see her surviving in a political realm at all. Oh, really? They, oh, see? I've never even seen what she looks like. I have no idea what she looks like. Yeah, you guys are you're all saying the same thing. What up, Tony? Hey, Tracy. Oh, the occasional good Anna. I'm going to have to go back and look at that stuff because this shit's funny to me. That's the funny part, not what she's exploiting here. I know. Clear. We found Robin each other. We yeah. found our Janice. When I heard that, I was like, oh, we're going to have fun with this one. <laughs> a person. Yeah. <laughs> Robin said, I grew up in California. This is 100% the way it is there. 13 and under, not prosecuted. This is why I live in Florida now. So I did. Hey, D, it's thanks for stopping in. Nora's Grammy. Thank voices behind the shed. Um, so I did do some research on the laws. Granted, there has been some changes and things with juvenile offenders, but I cannot find a law that states flat out that anybody under 13 that commits a sexual crime is not prosecuted. I could not find that anywhere that leads me to believe that that's a straight across the board law. There had to have been specific things that maybe led to this. I'm not saying it's not true that they didn't prosecute. Um, but there's just not enough information given in this to really understand why it wasn't prosecuted. If it was prosecuted, was it sealed because it was a juvenile record? There's there's just many different things here. But California does have some very, very horrifying laws, such as the youth offender law. And that's anybody under the age of 26. Wow. You go, Robin. Yeah, a lot of people uh, have went from Cali to Florida, Texas. Texas and Florida and Colorado, I think, are like the three major states. Vertica says, you're all right, Brittany. You're sweet. Montana and Utah are up there with one of the places Californians relocate to. It's okay. And everyone's entitled to their thoughts and all. I have family there that ain't that can't stand it anymore. Well, it used to be a dream come true to live there. One of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful state we have in the country. But it's just... It is what it is. I, I, I think I might have offended some people. Yes, it actually happened while on base, Janice. They'll get into that in a minute as soon as Brittany stops talking. People, we just dropped off 20 people. Literally just dropped 20. <laughs> oh, Tracy and Deeds, are you still in here? Guess what she tried to do to me? You guys will get a crack up about this one. Gavel, you're in here too. <laughs> you guys will get a crack up. I don't think any of you were in here. I was playing her live stream from her actual live that she was doing. Like on her page, I went and was just restreaming it and giving commentary to that. One of the ladies on panel with her came in here and mentioned, you know, it was talking shit. Sarah, again, Sarah just likes attention. But all of a sudden, I'm like looking over, reading comments, and the fucking live stream goes unavailable. Plink, unavailable. Yeah, Gavel, see, that's what I was finding too there's there's got to be something we you were listening okay <laughs> i was cracking the hell up all right here we go guys y'all gotta stop it's gotta go lay down hold on 13 they won't press charges against a 13 year old for that what was told to me by the sheriff's department you know my son got upset because I didn't tell him I knew. But his mom hadn't told me. And he got upset one day. And I was like, son, 
I do know. And if you ever want to talk to me about it. Queen of Kings, say that again. Absolutely. You can. But at the same point in time, I was trying to take care of things on my end. You know? I get it. And I should say when it comes to YouTube, that's what I should say with politics. I fully get it. I, I, I think mean, it's crazy to me that you couldn't do anything. Be, I, I, it, it doesn't make any, I, I don't get it. I mean, I don't live in California, okay. in California and I don't know the, you know, the, the law out there, yeah. but I, I am still very You're shocked. All... What were you saying? I said, but you wear LA gear all the time. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I really do. I really, really do. Uh, maybe I'm. Very good. There are so many inconsistencies in this. At first, he didn't know he wasn't involved in any therapy. She didn't get him help. But then he admits to he got in the face of a therapist and yelled at him. And that's how he got removed from base. Like there's so many inconsistencies with this. It's terrible. You know, I'm trying to manifest something. You feel me? Um, but terrible. still. Right. But still, I am quite curious as to why I, that seems so odd to me that you couldn't do anything in the state of California when a crime was committed against your son during that time. It still does blow my mind. But when you found out, going back to it, when you found out from Katie Proudfoot at that time, can you tell me where was your mindset? How did that feel? What if I told you that instead of setting up a green screen, that's her thing. Let me fast forward it just a second because she is obviously away at this point in time too, which I understand tending to children, you need to remove yourself. But um, it, it's very interesting to me that you have the audacity to call Katie out about being neglectful and not paying attention to her kids. Meanwhile, it's three o'clock in the morning. You will admit to that. And to, yes, it's spring break, but if you don't want to be judged on the things that you put out here publicly, stop judging other people. Stop, stop. And we just heard how good of a Christian you are and what a wonderful human being you are and all this other shit. So figure it out. Stop judging. Christians don't judge, right? 20 people. Literally just drop 20. <laughs> that, all right, here we go. Guys, y'all got to stop. It's got to go lay down. Hold on. 13. They won't press charges against a 13-year-old for that. Did I go back too far? What was told to me by the sheriff's department? Like we're gonna, I gotta fast forward through one spot here, you guys, because I will not let it be played. Um, let me make sure. I'm sorry. What was that? There's something about. Let me make sure I get it right. I I don't want to let this play. Oh, that was a long thing that I just said. That was a lot of work. <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. But you I was, a, I was reading something. My my bad. You're good, it, homie. Uh, You're good, homie. There's a lot of people here that want to know the truth and understand what's going on. So I'm going to repeat it one last time, okay? So you oh, had... Made them? This is the last oh, no, time. No, no, no. Right. Time out. Time out, time out, bro. Hold up, hold up. Well, what I'm trying to understand here so <laughs> that everyone understands as well is that you had a not-so-pleasant conversation. Okay. I am going to let this question play and then I'm skipping over the answer. And there's a reason for it because none of this needs to be out here. This is horrifying to even have the parents say this. So bear with me, please. Conversation on the phone with Chris and Katie Proudfoot. And during this argument or this conversation, Chris said something along the lines of everyone keeps on asking me why I don't like having Sebastian anywhere near faith. And if and I I will air that stuff out if you keep pushing me. And guess what's going to happen? Nobody's going to want to look for Sebastian because of his past. All right, right there, I'm ending it because there was no need for that question to be asked, and the follow up was even worse. So you can only imagine what was said. I'm sure most of you saw this, but we're going to fast forward past that part because again, information that is not needed on the internet. It is. Sebastian did not give consent for this to be blasted all over the internet, and I will continue to stand there. And, and, I mean, I don't even know if they teach that stuff in, in school anymore. I mean, they... 
Absolutely, Tracy. In my opinion, it was said to protect both children and to keep this out of the public sphere to protect the children. So he wouldn't be, in my opinion, labeled in that manner. That's what I took from it. I think it was an attempt to protect both children by not disclosing that information and an attempt to protect both of the children from this exact thing that's happening now. That is my take from it and what was said. But the way he followed it up with an example of behavior even is horrifying. And he's the one that's like putting labels on Sebastian intentionally, unintentionally, whatever it is, that right there, the example that he gave, yes, boys are boys. But following that conversation up with that example and even stating and twisting the way, the context of that conversation between him and Chris absolutely labels Sebastian as something that should not be even remotely put out here. Like I am, it's horrifying in my opinion. He used to teach us financial stuff in school so that we knew how to balance checkbooks. Take no care. Doubt. So then after the answer, he gave the example that he gave of why Chris might feel this way. Then he goes into talking about how when he was in school, schools used to teach, teach sex ed and all of these things that are completely unnecessary. I don't know if they teach this stuff in the schools anymore. I know my son hasn't. I've been helping him with history last time I was helping him with homework. Yeah. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it sounds like normal, normal behavior from a regular kid that's going through changes and growing and going through puberty and all those things. That and that's where we're going to end that part of it, because Brittany goes on to play the entirety of the conversation over and over again. If you want to see what the rest of this is, hit me up. I'll send it to you. I've got it downloaded. Of course, you know. But the rest of it is stuff I will not put out here again. But as you can see, she basically kind of tiptoes around the TBI phone calls. She doesn't shut it down. Then she even encourages it. Sarah comes on, says that, again, not controlling your panel, not understanding the extent of this, the gravity of the situation, all of it. None of this is necessary and you're not helping. And Brittany continues to talk about other people clickbaiting, bitch, that's what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing is clickbaiting. You are clickbaiting everybody and continuing to put misinformation out here because you didn't even know it was said in this interview and you played it without even understanding, just spreading this horrifying stuff against Sebastian. This is against Sebastian, in my opinion. Sebastian is the victim here and he cannot consent. He could not consent to this information being given up, period, point blank, end of story. Yeah, Tracy, and that's totally fine. Like, I just can't, like, the inconsistencies are blaringly obvious with me too right now. Um, there's a lot of finger pointing, but I can't help but sit back and say, like, we all are giving, well, not we, because we're over here for the most part. We are trying to give them all grace. But the thing I cannot overlook is he keeps talking about all these horrifying events. And I'm like, if this was going on, why didn't you do something? Why didn't you step in and do something? Why, why, what were you doing? And I'm sure the guilt that he feels is immense. Like everybody would have, should have, could have kind of thing. You know, we all have those, like, if I would have only done this, if I would. So we're never going to guilt him into feeling anything more than he already is feeling. But I feel like Seth is at his breaking point. The internet continues to push him there, just like we talked about last night. And we are in a storm. And the only person that it continues to hurt, in my opinion, is Sebastian. Sebastian has been lost in his own story, just like we've seen time and time again. It's escalating to a degree that I fear. Because here's my fear, and I said this earlier today, I said it last night too, and let me say it one more time. Let's say Sebastian did run away because of all the conflict, all the chaos, teenagers have enough on their plates, okay? Sebastian decides to come home and he wants to go back and live with Chris and Katie. The internet's not gonna have that. The internet is going to involve themselves in their personal private lives. Even people against Seth, even if he goes to live with Seth, people now have turned on Seth after all of this stuff. Sebastian is who is going to be impacted and they're never going to let it go. 
and it, they are going to mess with those families. And at the end of the day, this is hurting Sebastian. Yes, it's hurting the parents 100%. We have to agree across the board. This affects them. But this will never settle down until the internet gets what they want. It's horrifying. Like, and to know that they're going to, we are almost two years after the Marvon situation. And there are still people harassing her, saying that she murmured her husband, when in reality, law enforcement, many law enforcement agencies cleared her and have shown time and time again, she did not harm her husband. But the internet, once they get something in their minds, they will never stop. And it's horrifying. And these families don't deserve this. And there's minor children involved and they don't deserve this. Because now not only do we know too much about Faith and her minor, what she's gone through according to her mom, but we know too much about Sebastian, way too much. I just feel for all these people that did work with him, like his psychologist, his school counselor, his classmates, his teachers. I'm sure that seeing all this stuff is heartbreaking to them, truthfully. We're going to talk more about Brittany J, but you guys, we're going, um, I am going to be talking about J for Justice. I am going to be talking about AB. I am going to be talking about Trev Time. I am going to talk about Cher. I'm going to talk about all of them. Um, Spanky was doing a whole lot. JLR is doing a whole lot. Like there's so much going on. I can't even keep up. Like my head just spins, but I'm going to take a couple of at least 36 hours mental health break because I have to step away from this case for a little bit and I'll probably watch and absorb and get timestamps because it's just going to get worse. But so much misinformation is being put out here and there's so many people taking shots and the person that continues to take shots at the parents, they're hitting Sebastian. That's who this is. Aaron, I will. Do you want me to look right now? Oh, my nose is itching. Play therapy, art therapy is such a wonderful thing to get kids to open up. Absolutely amazing technique. Absolutely necessary. They go into a whole thing about talking about all sorts of stuff in this one too. Oh, I did get it. Oh. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, is all I can say. Hmm. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for continuing to support that this is too far, that Sebastian's being hurt, Sebastian's being lost and all this stuff. Y'all, we got to continue to stand up, speak out and say enough's enough because the, the one that matters is Sebastian is he's lost completely lost in his own story. So I hope you guys all take some time, disconnect over the weekend. I know this case has a lot of us just furious and it's can, going to continue going. Uh, T Rev 757. Hold on. Let me get oh, hair in my mouth. <sighs> there it is. <laughs> if you want anything professional. Oh yeah. Here we go. Let me show this. This is so freaking funny. This made my heart happy. She wouldn't private at all these lives. What are you doing, Brittany? You don't know, understand what we do over here. Look at this. She privated the video. <laughs> this is, this still gives me the best joy. Brittany, you don't understand me. Like that, that gives me joy. Making you squirm gives me joy. You're, you're doing too much there. You got to understand. I like making people squirm. Oh my God, he's still alive. Okay, let me show you guys this right here. All right, you guys can see that on your side. Look at the title of this one, the latest. Sebastian Rogers, possible signing Chris and Katie under investigation. That's his live currently right now with 3.3 people watching it, 3.3K. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting 20 hours ago, Chris under investigation. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting Nancy Grace and Seth Rogers. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting parents moved to Mississippi. That is nothing but clickbait. All of it. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting. Ellie gets update, found glasses. They already knew that was cleared up. Sebastian Rogers, possible sightings. Ellie update. Sebastian Rogers, battered ex-wife speaks out. Sebastian Roger, Rogers, Katie lied to Nancy Grace. Tell me that's not gross. 
Tell me that's not disgusting. Yeah, if you want to start a channel, clip, you got endless content right now. But beware, most of them are like five to six hour live streams, at least four hours. But Chico, I, I, I had a feeling. APRN35, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you guys being here. Yeah, this is just ridiculous, y'all. Um, we'll be, that's obviously not truthful though, because Nancy Grace put up misinformation. Nancy Grace, TBI had confirmed that the glasses had nothing to do with Sebastian, that they weren't his. And Nancy Grace, a whole like 12, 14, 16 hours later, comes out and puts up a YouTube video that says, his something to do with his glasses. And then at the very end of the live stream, she addresses that they're not his. But that is intentional, misleading misinformation. So whether or not she has a group that fact checks, she purposely misconstrues what she knows and uses it as clickbait in her titles too. Nancy Grace is just as bad. In fact, she did another um, example I have is the ladies in Oklahoma that were found we knew they were missing because the car was found. The vehicle had been found. Nancy Grace comes out days, a couple days later and says, breaking information, the car has been found. No, that's how we knew they were missing and that there was potential foul play because the car was been found. We knew that days before. And then she clickbaits that. <sighs> it's If they do fact check her, they need to be fired. First of all, and I got some girls she could hire that would actually keep her in check, but they're a dime. They, they would need to be paid real high. Bob, are you still in here? If not, I'll email you back. Uh, Am just confirmed that anyone who wants to speak at the hearing can be listed as anonymous. I'll, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do an update on her tomorrow. Right, Chico? Fire their asses. Hey, Trey. Hey, Spy Wolf. Little Irish girl. Yes, absolutely. All right, y'all. Go disconnect. Go spend some time with your family. I am going to go hang out with my kiddos and ding, on, ding around for the rest of the weekend. Just remember, this is a lot of heavy, heavy stuff going on out here. Take a break. I know this is affecting all of us in so many different ways. And the person that it's really affecting, though, at the end of the day, and I really want people to remember is this is Sebastian. These aren't stories we should even know. This is not fodder for the internet. We are exploiting a minor sexual assault. That is not acceptable. Not any way, shape or form will it be acceptable today or tomorrow or any other day. And if you're not helping, you're hurting. And Brittany, that's the thing you're missing. You tiptoe around and just play whatever you think is gonna get you the most views and subs. You should be concerned about a child. That's where your concern should lie. And instead, you just tiptoe around like what the internet wants to see. Who gives a shit about the internet? What about Sebastian? What about Sebastian? So next time you sit here and try to tell people to call people out for clickbait, look in the mirror, bitch, because you're a clickbait queen. And you suck at it too. But you try. You try. Right, chap? She absolutely could be. Thank you, Chico. Thank you, Pika. Hey, Am. Thank you all my mods, Revival, everybody else in here. Kathy P is going live shortly. Kathy, are you in here? Drop your link. Will you drop your link if you're still in here? Kathy P is going live shortly. I'm sure there's a ton of people going live. I will try to make rain rounds and catch everybody that I can. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Awareness is what we should be concerned about, not investigating. Uh, correct, we'll be. I agree with you. I agree with you 100% because we're not law enforcement. We should not be. But we also have to take a step back and realize that this isn't awareness. This is misinformation. And misinformation and involving your safe, yourself in active cases like this is actually potentially hindering the justice that victims deserve. So awareness is key, but factual information is what it should stick to. There is no need for disinformation, misinformation, any of that. None of that. Nobody should be even focused on those things. And that's what continues to happen. Awareness is a big thing. But also, if we remain silent on all these people who are exploiting these cases, we're just complacent. In my complicit 
What the hell? Are, I can't even talk today. Thank you, Chico, so much. Perry, people want to forget that. Hey, Heather Licious, thank you guys all. Hey, Adam. Okay, y'all, I'm out. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys back Monday. I might come on and vent tomorrow if somebody really pisses me off. You guys know that I like to do that these days. So stay safe out there. See you later.